Stop scrolling. Seriously, stop. Because the story I'm about to tell you, this isn't just another rumor. This isn't just a spec sheet update. This is the entire future of your Apple home, and it's about to be rewritten. For years, we've waited. We've watched Amazon and Google play their game while Apple seemed to be taking a nap in the smart home corner. But that nap is officially over. Today, we're peeling back the curtain on the most significant, simultaneous ecosystem launch Apple has planned in half a decade. We're talking about the HomePod Mini 2, the Apple TV 2025 that is going to blur the line between a streaming box and a gaming console, and the AirTag 2, the one simple, genius device that's going to make you forget you ever lost your keys. This leak is massive. And if you own even one Apple product, you need to hear every single detail, because this changes everything. Stick with me for the next 30 minutes, and by the end, you'll know exactly what you'll be buying, what you'll be throwing out, and why the smart home war is finally about to be won by the company from Cupertino. Let's dive in. Let's start with the unsung hero, the device that's supposed to be the brain and the voice of your home, the HomePod Mini. The original is great, but let's be honest, Siri on it can be, embarrassing. It feels slow, it misses context, and sometimes you just want to scream, it's a smart speaker. Be smart. Well, get ready for the HomePod Mini 2. This is not a slight refresh. This is a brain transplant. The biggest story here is the silicon. We are reportedly jumping from the old S5 chip to the A13 Bionic architecture, possibly the S9 or even the S10 chip. To put that into perspective, the S5 is ancient. The A13 is the beating heart of an iPhone 11 Pro. This means a five-fold increase in raw processing power. Why does a tiny speaker need this much power? Two words, Apple Intelligence. Imagine Siri that doesn't have to send every request to the cloud. A Siri that understands the context of a 10-minute conversation. A Siri that knows the tone of your voice and can tell if you're speaking to it or just talking to your family. This new chip isn't just for speed, it's for local AI processing. It's the difference between a chatbot and a true digital assistant. When this launches, the old HomePod mini instantly becomes a relic of the past. But the upgrades don't stop at the chip. The audio experience is finally getting the love it deserves. Early reports indicate a dual-driver system focused on richer bass and clearer vocals. Apple knows sound quality is king, and they're moving the HomePod mini from good for the size to simply great. And here's a massive detail for my fellow tech enthusiasts, Wi-Fi 7. This is a huge leap in wireless technology. It's not just faster, it's more stable, handles more devices simultaneously, and will essentially eliminate the dreaded buffering or Siri not responding issue. The HomePod Mini 2 is positioned to be the true thread border router and matter hub that Apple HomeKit has desperately needed. This is the foundation upon which the entire smart home will be built. We're talking new colors, a better tactile touch surface, and maybe, just maybe, an audio out port for connecting to existing speaker systems, a small but crucial detail for audio purists. The HomePod Mini 2 is the quiet revolution. It's the invisible upgrade that finally delivers on the promise of an intelligent home. It makes the next product on our list truly terrifying for the competition. Next up, the device that has confused people for years, the Apple TV. Is it a streamer? Is it a gaming box? Is it overpriced? The Apple TV 2025 answers that question with a resounding, it's everything. Forget the A15 chip in the current model. The new Apple TV is rumored to be packing the A17 Pro chip. The very same chip that makes the iPhone 15 Pro Max a portable console. Why? Because Apple is finally, seriously, entering the living room gaming war. The A17 Pro supports hardware accelerated ray tracing. Look, I won't bore you with the physics but what you need to know is that this is the technology that makes games look real. Water reflections, realistic shadows, light scattering, this is console-level graphics. 
This new Apple TV won't just stream 4K movies, it will be a powerhouse capable of running Assassin's Creed Mirage and Resident Evil Village natively, at incredible frame rates, right on your big screen. This is a direct, calculated assault on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, but with a massive advantage, affordability. If Apple prices this aggressively, this device suddenly becomes the most accessible high-end gaming machine on the planet, all while delivering a stunning 4K streaming experience. But the most incredible, unconfirmed, and potentially mind-blowing leak for the Apple TV is the built-in FaceTime camera. Yes, you heard that right. A camera. Why? FaceTime on your TV, center stage technology on your 65-inch screen for video calls. Gesture control, imagine controlling menus with a wave of your hand, a la minority report. Fitness integration, picture the Apple Fitness Plus app using the camera to monitor your form, offering real-time coaching feedback. Home automation, facial recognition to know who is in the room and automatically adjust the lights, climate, and profile based on the individual. Think about that last one. Walk into the room, and the TV already knows you loads your profile, starts your favorite playlist on the HomePod Mini 2, and adjusts the temperature. This is the ultimate personalized home experience, and the Apple TV is the eye in the sky that makes it happen. The new Siri remote is also getting an overhaul, finally ditching that easily lost, fragile design for a more robust, ergonomic metal body with a dedicated Apple intelligence button. A touch-sensitive surface remains, but the focus is on durability and tactile feedback. The Apple TV 2025 is the entertainment epicenter, the gaming powerhouse, and the visual key to your new smart home. It's the product we've been waiting for since the original, and it's finally ready to take its place. Now, let's talk about the AirTag. It's successful, indispensable, and yet, it has one major flaw, it's not quite precise enough, and the speaker is too easily silenced. Enter the AirTag 2, the leak that proves sometimes the biggest impact comes in the smallest package. The first major upgrade is the U2 chip. This is the next generation of ultra-wideband technology. The original AirTag uses the U1 chip, which is good for finding things in a room. The U2 chip, first seen in the latest iPhones, is so precise it can pinpoint an object's location within a couple of inches, even through walls. This means the precision-finding experience will be exponentially better. Instead of a general direction, you'll be guided with near-perfect accuracy. No more fumbling in your couch cushions. It will be a matter of, your keys are exactly 3.7 inches beneath that pillow. But the real game-changer is the range and battery life. Reports suggest a dramatically improved wireless range, up to three times longer than the original. This is crucial for tracking things like luggage in a huge airport terminal or a pet that wanders further than expected. And Apple is reportedly fixing the two biggest complaints. First, the speaker is moving from a simple piezoelectric element to a much louder, more resilient, and tamper-proof design. No more wrapping it in tape to silence it. Second, the low battery alert system is getting smarter, using Apple intelligence to learn your usage patterns and give you days, not hours, of notice before the battery dies. There's also talk of a slightly smaller, thinner profile, allowing the AirTag 2 to finally slide into a wallet or stick onto an object without creating a noticeable bulge. The AirTag 2 is the finishing touch. It's the final piece of the Find My Network that makes you feel truly connected to your belongings. It closes the loop on Apple's entire ecosystem in a way that is utterly seamless. So, why are these three devices, the HomePod Mini 2, the Apple TV 2025, and the AirTag 2, such a huge deal together? Because this isn't three products launching, it's one integrated platform. This is Apple building a foundation of intelligence in your home. The HomePod Mini 2 is the always listening, always learning, smart-talking brain with local AI. The Apple TV 2025 is the eyes and the visual interface, with the processing power to run your entertainment and your home on a central screen.
The AirTag 2 is the ubiquitous tag that tracks every valuable object and adds an unparalleled layer of precision to the Find My network. When you bring all three of these together, your house no longer just has smart devices, your house becomes a smart entity. Imagine this, you walk in the door. The AirTag 2 in your backpack is instantly detected by the new HomePod Mini 2. The Apple TV camera recognizes your face. The lights turn to your preferred setting. The TV turns on with your profile, and the HomePod immediately resumes the podcast you were listening to in your car. All of it is instantaneous, because the power of the A17 Pro and the S10 chips is working locally to serve you. This is the promise Apple has been hinting at for a decade. This is the Apple smart home revolution. The competition is about to be put on notice. The rumors say these devices are dropping imminently, possibly via a surprise press release without a major event. Whether they launch in a week or early next year, the hardware is ready, the chips are designed, and the leaks are undeniable. The choice is simple. Are you ready to upgrade to a home that finally feels intelligent? Now, I want to hear from you. Which of these three products, the AI-powered HomePod Mini 2, the console-killing Apple TV 2025, or the super-precise AirTag 2, are you most excited to put your money down for? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve, make sure you hit that subscribe button because the next massive Apple leak is already on its way.